sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I am a traveler like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? Well, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was um, a, a, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drangling, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dren Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you're fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. I'll be back in Majula soon. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. My name is Malentia. You're a stranger to this land. Oh, we get as strangers these days. Everybody's gone and run off. <laughs> Drang Lake's been a pile of rubble since the war, thought long, long ago. And the giants crossed the sea. Seemed like the battles would never end. Poor folk like myself had nary a place to sleep. I swear I'll keep all me things right with me. You may travel night, but me thinks you bear a burden of your own. Trees grew from the remains of the giants. From each carcass sprouted new life growing into what you see now. But you know what they also say? Don't believe what an old hag says. <laughs> it's high time that I pick up a move. I've a bargain for you. Next time we meet my lover. Hey everybody, welcome back. So as you saw from the opening, we found Kale. Yay. We got his house key. So let's use his house key. So Kale is a cartographer. He likes maps. I almost knocked over his chair. Get this item. Lockstone can never have enough of them. I think I've said that already. I don't remember. That's a big ass book. Are you reading Harry Potter? Hmm? Witchcraft and sorcery. So he said there's some going ons in the basement. What's that noise? 
That the things outside might have been the things outside. So things going on in the basement. There's a skeleton. Take a look at the skeleton. Come here. Come in the light, buddy. Come on. You're. In, come on. Stop being photo shy. Come on. Okay, come here, buddy. I don't know why I'm calling you like a dog. Come on. It looks like a dark one skeleton. I think he is a dark one skeleton. And he's dead. And he drops an effigy. That's weird. I think the kind of common consensus is that he's the player character from the first game because of what's in this chest. Open the giant chest. Soul vessel. Let's read that shit. That's interesting. Where? Oh, where would it be? Here it is. Boom. Show this to a certain person and ellipsis. A vessel that will accept your souls. It can allow reallocation of levels, but without proper assistance, it may simply drain you of your souls. If you truly wish to start again, go to the place where your journey begins. Or began, rather. So don't use that shit. Just don't use that right away. You have to go back to um, things betwixt and talk to the ladies in red. I almost forgot to go upstairs to get the stuff that's upstairs. Yeah, if you use that soul vessel, which I think everybody thinks it's a part of the, the Lord vessel from the first game. Titanite shards and torches. That's good. What the hell? Were you guys making noise down there, huh? You piggies. You little oinkers. But if you don't take that to Watch your face. You coming to fight me? They're coming to fight me. I don't want any of you. You guys are kind of a pain in the ass to kill. To be fair. Melange is here too. Yay. I don't remember if we talked to her originally, so. So, uh, I don't know if I'll include that footage of talking to her. I probably will, just because, I don't know. Okay, so we have two choices. We can either go through No Man's Wharf to the Lost Bastille, or just go straight to the Bastille. So, uh, where should we go, huh? You tell me. What? Huh? Go straight to the Bastille? Well, okay. There's no arguing with you guys. There's no, no sense in arguing. So, we have to go back to the Cardinal Tower. Hey, it's a shuttle? Shuttle? It's alright. But we're gonna go to Lost Bastille, straight to it. Because I hate No Man's Wharf. Which I have an instinct to call it the Fisherman's Wharf. I'm pretty sure that's from Bioshock. Not this game. Kill this guy. Oh, he doesn't die in one hit. Oh my god. I've been tricked. Now you're gonna come here. God, he jumped to the rhythm and the rhyme. Yeah, I hate the the wharf. Never picked this item up. Fire arrows. No man's wharf is a just a pain in the ass. No, do not touch my butthole. Please do not. No, bad. You know, I'm gonna kill you so I hope you uh drop your shits. Drop your shits. Oh, you didn't drop your shit. I didn't get this item over here. Hi. Why did you take damage? Why? Makes no sense. There was an item up there, but we already have it because we're using it. It's the halberd. Hi, Mr. Turtle Knight. No. No. Oh, God, no. No, bad Turtle Knight. Bad Michelangelo. Are you Raphael? I can't tell. And it was a trick. You all right there, buddy? Are you? I'm gonna leave you alone. You are having some alone time issues up there. The fuck was I talking about? I got sidetracked again. The wharf, that's it. Let's talk about the wharf. They made it so you don't have to go to the wharf, actually. Unless you want a certain item, hi. And that item being the pyromancy glove. So this is where we would have fought the pursuer. If we had not killed him the first time. 
You guys really don't know when to quit, do ya? That did not kill him. Retreat. Oh god, retreat. I thought that would kill, and it did not. Oh, you can't fall. You... You gonna back down? No, they are not backing down. Oh, come on. Dudes, come on. Really? Sweet life gem. It's a free life gem. So, you... Where is he? Where is he? I can't see him. He's down there somewhere. But he was supposed to be here. He was supposed to be fucking up the street with his buddy. Oh, God, don't hit me. You sit Oh, and he jumped. So, might as well drop down here and get the goodies that are down here. Drang Lake Sword and the Drang Lake Set, plus the shield. Really good armor. Really heavy armor, but really good armor. It gives you a cape. But I am fine with the Wanderer uh, Manchette. I have to clean my shit out. I forgot to. I apologize. Drang Lake Sword is a dexterity weapon, but costs 25 strength. Oh, he finally came down from his perch. You know what? I'm going to put you out of your misery. You are a silly, silly little bugger. And he's dead, so. So, while we make our way back up there, I want you to ask yourself something. So, everything in this series comes back to life. That's hollowed, at least. Oh, you're in my way, too? Oh, Jesus. Come here. I want to kill you. You must die. Oh, dude, don't make it more... Don't make it harder on yourself. There we go. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, everything comes back to life that is hollow, including us, including the player character. So, my question is... Easy backstab? That's not my question. And there goes his bow. My question is... Are we zombies? Does that make us zombies? Because everything comes back to life, no matter how many times you kill it. That sounds like a zombie. That sounds like a straight-up zombo. Zomblah blah. And by that, does that mean the curse is zombification? Hmm? And does that also mean that the Dark Souls series is really a horror series? Hmm? Ask you that stuff that well we got picked up by a giant crow. Yay, birds. The Arc Drake staff. Staff of members of the Arc Drake sect of Lindelt, a catalyst for sorceries and hexes. And Lindelt, known for its clerics and their miracle sorceries, believed to Ah, oh, I couldn't read it. Yep, yeah, caw to you too. It looks like a falcon. It looks like a falcon. And we're a phantom again. I like that it just puts you facing the chests, because if you were facing this way, you wouldn't have seen them. Look at that guy. Look at that guy over there. So these two chests are a big change from the original. I don't remember what's in them. Oh god, brain, what are you doing to me? Human effigy, that doesn't really matter. But this one is the one that matters. I remember that. The dull ember! You have to give that to a certain little blacksmith in this area so he can ascend your weapons to plus 10, which is the max. I'm gonna burp. Oh god. Oh god, it's stuck. Anyway. So, you used to have to go, like, far away for that. Like, you'd have to get pretty far into the game for that to happen. Hi, guy. So, we're gonna come over here, get this. Large Titanite. And... Hi, guy. No, bad. Oh, I tried plunge attack them. Okay. Your sword is melted into the concrete. Push this off. Boom! Cool guys don't look at explosions. Go through this door. Chest! Chest! And then this bad motherfucker comes up. Pick up the things. No. So, pursuer fight number two. 
I, again, I love that he they put him here and in several other places so far that I've seen. That was stupid. I admit, that was really stupid of me. Like, he's supposed to be pursuing you. Why is he not pursuing you in more than two, two places? No, 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 no. I'm doing, like, nothing to him. And pretty much it's the same boss fight from before, except in a different place. That's it. Just dodge him, dodge that attack, and he staggered, so, and he's dead. There you go. Pick up the item, Twinkling Titanite. Uh, what was from that chest? Oh, I forgot to do the Estus Shard thing. Son of a... Give us a fragrant branch of yore, which restores living things from petrification. That will be used almost immediately in this area. And it gave us a ring. It gave us the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, which, uh, you know, clearly... Kill something, gives you more souls. Which... Is good. It's good. Although, we should have probably talked to Malentia again, because... She gives us a plus two, which, oh, hi. Oh, don't, no, no. Uncle Touchy, no, get back. No, Uncle Touchy guarded me again. Please just die, thank you. He's dead, yay. So, continue on our way. Fuck yo, powder kegs. That could be very dangerous. Hey, Lucatiel. This is another big change. This, uh, this chest. Antiquated key. That lets us go into the other area of this map that we would normally have to go through No Man's Wharf to get to. So, it's almost like they said, ah, you probably shouldn't go through No Man's Wharf. It sucks. But I'm out of time, so I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And until next time, goodbye.